What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. If you are new here, every single week for the past three weeks now, I've been doing a challenge to get you guys up and about and active and thinking and doing something good, something fun, something that's going to put a smile on your face. And your entries this week have definitely put a smile on my face. This week's challenge was the Lateral Raise Challenge. How innovative, how creative, how fun can you make it? And my god, you guys did not disappoint. We've had the push-up challenge, we've had the pull-up slash lap pull-down challenge. Week three was the lateral raise challenge and the winner is Ben underscore Pierce 11. Well done my friend. I have to say, job well done. This was sent the next day so he thought about it on the night of when I announced it. The next day he got up and it kept him amused all morning or all afternoon and he got some freaking chickens, chickens, in a freaking tub. <laughs> And he actually accompanied it with a little message saying no animals were harmed in the process of filming this. And, and it's really made me laugh. It's really made me laugh. We had so many good entries this week. We had people making freaking TikToks. We had people using rice bags, uh, Coke cans, the lot. It was really good. It was a really good week of entries. So this week's challenge, ladies and gentlemen, this, if you ask me, is the big one. I'm rubbing my shoulders because this week's challenge is a shoulder press challenge. How creative can you make your shoulder press? How funny, how fun, interesting, cool, something I've never seen before. Can you make your shoulder press? Now, just to clarify, this can be anything, whether you're upside down or not, pushing above your head, like so. I'm not saying to go upside down, you might injure yourself, don't do that. But if you want to, try it and then maybe, who knows, we shall see. That is this week's challenge. Please get involved. Send over the entries to my Instagram, which is linked in the description box, LSJ underscore fitness. And with that said, people, thank you very much. Drop the video a like and let's get it started. Who's had fish? It stinks of fish. We're going post box. Huh? We're going post box, pup. We're going post box. Come here. She's a collie, so um, by nature she she circles like herding, herding sheep and stuff, you know? Come, sit. Who's the good girl? This playlist on that can the cameraman first introduced to me. It's called what is it called? The Brit Pack Urban Graduates on Spotify, being played on our speaker, which is currently down here. Now, one thing we need to do something with this. Myself and the old man were speaking the other day, well, yesterday, about what the hell we're going to do with that because. We've cleared up the rest of the gym. We've got all this space here now where the boxes are. You can clearly walk around here. We've got a nice spin by kind of area there. Big open area there. The rest is tidy. The rest is clean and in order. However, that is messy. And mess does not go in our gym. Nuh uh. So, what we're thinking is nothing is confirmed, nothing is set in stone. But what we're thinking is maybe leaving one heater down here 
perhaps the big red heater or something like that just because it's still a garage it's still freezing in here like it's actually quite cold in here right now i'm just halfway through my workout so i'm nice and warm sort of thing but if the person just walked in from the house they would think it was cold hard to explain it's a garage you know what a garage is like so maybe leave one of these here and this space kind of in and around there would be perfect for acoustics of the speaker right because at the minute the speaker is obviously on the floor that limits the range of the sound if it's up in the air and facing outwards towards the entire gym can pretty much just boom the whole gym full of loud music which is kind of kind of what we want really we want a nice kind of immersive all-in-one experience right we've got all this space now it needs filling with with the good tunes you know so what we're thinking is placing a shelf perhaps there um, and kind of dispersing the heaters around the gym or something like that. I, I don't know. We might have to do a little bit of re kind of rewiring or shelf assembling, something like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. We're kind of just thinking about it at this point in time. But I just wanted to keep you updated because at the end of the day, you guys have watched this home gym transform. So I want to keep you updated with the further transformations. New bits of kit, shelving, all this kind of stuff. Coming soon. It's only going to get better, people. Making progress. We're not there. Ooh, actually, a good 10, 12 pounds away from where we want to be. But we've made a lot of progress. Let's keep it moving. Drop the video a like and on with the day. Okay, next up, I have a meal that I've been having every single day. Um, I've been adding chocolate in um, because it's been Easter. I've had extra chocolate to hand uh, and I've been slowly but surely weaning myself off of that. Today is going to be the day where I do not have any because I've had a smaller and smaller portion every single day until it's all gone. But it is what it is. So I actually started using this measuring jug. I get asked basically where I'm going with this. I get asked how I make my oats every single day. And I used to make them on the hob and I used to make it a lot more creamier and just taste, tasted a lot better from the hob. However, that involves more washing up and I can't be asked with that. And so I have now mastered the old microwave technique. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a measuring jug. Why are you using the measuring jug to make your oats, Liam, I hear you say? Well, I'm so glad you asked. Basically, this has a handle, and if you're making things for social media, it's good to be able to see the entire thing, so it's made of glass. You can see it all, right? But glass bowls get a lot hotter, and so you can't hold it, stick it in the microwave, and it's boiling hot, you cannot hold it. So, hold the jug handle like so, and you are good. So what you're going to do is start off by using 60 grams of oats. I only ever use 60 grams, unless it's like a, a leg day and I haven't eaten much or anything, then I'll have like 70 at most. You don't need any more than that. That's a lot of oats. So 60 grams going in like so. I can pretty much eyeball it like that's 62. So I need to take a little bit out. I am kind of funny about having actually 60 grams because then I, I kind of keep the variance the same every single day, you know? Ah, oh, that's 59 now. Perfect. Right, now that's sorted, I will use the same jug and fill it with already boiling water. We actually have a, a hot tap, a boiling hot tap here, so I don't need to boil, like, boil the kettle or anything like that, but I fill it up to around about 400 grams. Stick that back on there, there's 382 grams, that'll do, right? So now, this is the next key process. Because it is already boiling water, it's gonna be cooking ever so slightly anyway, right? 
Not as much as if you got it on the hob or on the microwave, but it is going to be cooking. It's going to be absorbing the water right now, right? So you see this clump here. Clumps like that are what we want to avoid in this process, right? This is what we are smushing out and this is what we are stirring. So it is one smooth creaminess kind of texture, right? Trust me, th this takes a lot of time to make the perfect oats. People who like sell oats to you as, as like a two minute meal, it's fantastic, it's perfect. No, that is not the case. Treat the oats with love, treat the oats with care, like it is your loved one or child, and you will have a good bowl of oats, or measuring jug of, 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 of oats every single day. So I'll stand here for a couple of minutes, maybe like a minute or two, just stirring, smoothing out all the lumps like so, and you can pretty much tell when it's kind of ready. And then I will stick it in for 30 seconds, give it a stir, stick it in for 30 seconds, give it a stir, on high heat, bear in mind, um, and then in between I'll kind of give it another 30 seconds just to kind of soak it all up. The slower you do it, the better it will be because it will give you more kind of volume. You can use more water and as a result actually feels like you get more oats. You're only having 60 grams of oats, but the oats soaks it up and you just get more. You just have to take longer cooking it, which is a pain in the backside if I'm honest, but it's good. The final result is good. 30 seconds on high heat, we're gonna give that a stir, give 30 seconds to absorb, 30 seconds more, give it a stir, maybe 30 seconds more, it depends on a daily basis to be honest. I don't, I don't know whether it's how hot the boiling water is or what, but anyway, 15 seconds to go. How you doing? Just gonna do some filler here. Just call me Greg James on Radio 1, just gonna do some filler. Hope you're all doing good. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. And in three, two, one. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's thickened up ever so slightly, but it is still running. The beauty with oats is that everybody has their own desired consistency. Mine, I like mine quite thick, to be honest, but smooth and creamy at the same time. So I will stir this for around about 30 seconds, and again, stick it back in for 30 seconds, and then stir it for about 30 seconds. It takes love, it takes time, and it takes care, people. <coughs> I actually whistle quite well, I just have to think about it a little bit. I got good at whistling one day because my dad was taking the piss out of my whistling and I thought I was good and he told me I was bad. And then I realised I was bad so I started practising my whistling. Oh it's ready, it's ready. There we go, see that has started to thicken up a little bit more there. Still not quite there but by the time I've added the protein, going to add about one or two scoops, a, a big heaped scoop of, of my protein, salted caramel whey and uh, that tends to thicken it up a little bit as well. We are running low though, we are running low. You can tell I've been having it every day because we've been in friggin' isolation because this bag has just disappeared. Uno, and about another half. Stir that in right nice, nice and steady. It's all in the wrist, this people, all in the wrist so you don't spill it everywhere. So slow, and then flip, and you stir, and then you flip. Stir and flip, and then you go for it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me, is bloody perfect. A couple of squibs of pink salt on top, and you are good to go. Thank me later. Coupled by uploading the video that you guys saw the other day, OJ and a banana sticking out behind the camera, if you can see that there. Yeah, okay, cool. Enjoy. So then, ladies and gentlemen, this begs the question, what would you do if you were us? I know you guys can have some very helpful tips regarding this. If this was your space, if this was your garage, right? Imagine, put yourself in my shoes. <laughs> what would you do if you had this space here, this space here, and there's just a little kind of, little bits of, of, of mess here and there, like, that down there, we've already kind of done something with that. My biggest thing at the minute, I think, is putting this either up there or up there. We haven't quite decided yet, but whatever we decide to do, I really do think that it will actually improve the place a lot. Obviously, the most recent thing we had done was the um, flooring, and that really has just kind of transformed the space overall. It makes it feel like one whole big area rather than just 
lots of kind of little different sections. Basically before, none of this was matted. Um, none of that at the back was matted either. We pretty much just had mats here and there over the other side. Now it is all one big kind of space. So all of this, despite how that does kind of look messy. I don't, I don't know why, when you walk in here and you see that, it really does not look messy. However, when I put the camera down here, it it does. So I don't, I don't quite know what's going on there, but anyway, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna complain one bit. What would you do if you were us? We would love to expand in some way. We would love to improve it again in some way. We do have certain things in mind, like other bits, rewiring of things, where we're gonna put the speaker, perhaps some more weight. I, I don't know. Well, we do know, but we don't at the same time. So I wanted to ask you guys, what would you do if you were us? What should be our next home gym addition? What should be our next transformation? Whatever I decide to title the video. Help a brother out, you know? You guys, at the end of the day, watch these videos. I want to progress it with you guys. You know, I want you guys to have a, an involvement, a say in this. So let me know and it will actually genuinely help out a, f a fair bit. So if you could, let me know in the comments down below what you would do. And uh, I would appreciate that. For now though, people, let's finish with a couple of updates. Alpha Leap video is coming at some point this week. I don't know when. I really don't know when, because it, today, the day of filming this is Tuesday the 21st of April, the launch was on Saturday, um, and you pay for next day delivery, but obviously next day delivery counts from working days, so it should have been technic technically shipped yesterday, um, but that didn't happen, um, and now it's the end of the working day on Tuesday, and it's still not been shipped, so... I would usually like to get the Alpha Leap video. If the Alpha Leap launches on Friday or Saturday, I usually like to get their video up on Tuesday because it's arrived, it's given me time to edit the video and all this kind of stuff. Um, but just know that I will get the video live on the day that it comes. I managed to pick up a few bits, so stay tuned for that. That will be live at some point this week, I hope, dependent upon when the package arrives. Obviously today is Tuesday, the day of filming this. You'll be seeing this on Wednesday. That is if Alphalete doesn't arrive. If it arrives, you'll be seeing it on Thursday. Vice versa, stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll give you kind of up-to-date updates with that because I can kind of give you live updates rather than a, a day's delay like it is on here. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to do an Alphalete video. I've not done one for a while because there hasn't been a launch for a while so I'm excited to to dive back into the Alpha Leap content obviously there won't be a photo shoot video this time around I'll just try and take some some cool pics in here and stuff you know open the garage door and stuff that always looks really cool so what else was I going to say I was going to say something else as well ah. I am also planning a couple of good videos what the could be good, if, if I get it right, it could be good. Could be quite funny uh, and entertaining, something quite different that I've not really done before. Um, kind of a challenge, but also kind of not. Just It's just gonna be a fun, interesting video that hopefully I can get mum and dad and, and stuff involved with as well. So I hope you guys um, are looking forward to what is to come. Drop a like if you are. I hope you have enjoyed today's vid. Let me know what you would do to the space in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for your support. We are freaking smashing it, people, the momentum the point of this series is building. And that is all that I can ask for. Just gonna keep plodding along, doing what we're gonna do. And eventually, who knows what will happen. Hey, lots of stuff in the works. Thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together, we will grow. And I will see you all, beautiful frigging people, in the next video. Boom!